Hi everyone, I'm um, just going to show you how I magnetise my Master Morphix. As you can see it's got a fair bit of click. The magnets that are in it I used uh, N50s, 4x2s. Uh, four by, four by uh, they're a little bit strong. When I first did it they were too weak and you couldn't feel it at all and then I had to change the way I magnetised the Master Morphix to get it to work properly. So it's working pretty well, but I wish that I would just use probably about N40s instead of the N50s. So I'll just pull it apart and show you what it looks like inside of how I magnet because magnetize it. It's just not like a normal magnetizing a 3x3 where you magnetize the corner pieces because here, this piece here would be a corner piece and you just you can't get a magnet in there so I've had to magnetize it through the centers so this will be a center cap Let me just get that off and as you can see there's um, the four magnets right inside going to each uh, corner pe or edge piece sorry so if we just pull the cube apart, pull that nice and well fixed, you can see how I've done it. I've had to drill through the, the plastic and um, make it so the magnets touch each other. When I had it, when they, yeah, were just through the plastic, they just weren't, the N50s weren't strong enough at all. You could barely even feel them. So I took the magnets back out and I put them back in but with the drilling the holes so it's just made it very strong now as you can see that's a um, would be a corner piece which you can't put magnets in there at all so yeah magnets through the edge pieces and the centers so what you can do with a this master morphic so I don't know which brand it is but you can get in there. Yeah, it's very. There we go. Got in. So yeah, you can get your magnets in there. It's just a matter of lining them up in the right spot. And then away you go. So I'll just put that back in. So that's how I magnetise my Master Morphix. Hope this helps. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.